what is up y'all you know what time it is when i'm in my car um so we're heading over to the gym well i'm actually already at the gym so heading inside the gym um to hit some bag day if you can tell i'm in my scrubs it's actually 10 a.m right now yep 10 or 2 um I had a free morning, so I went and work, did what I need to do a little bit, and then I was like, you know what? I have all the stuff I need to do in the afternoon, so I was like, might as well just get some stuff done here at the gym. So I'm here trying to get my back day in and my little bit cardio, see if I can complete my 30 minutes if I have enough time. But that is the game plan here today. Um, I'm trying to hit the same back workout just so I'm consistent and I'm seeing the results and seeing which exercise works for me and which doesn't. So the last exercises that you've seen for back day is almost the same, um, same rep count. Nothing too extreme. Um, I don't want to pull anything in my back since I told you guys my left shoulder is bothering me and one of your part, one part of your body is bothering you. are gonna try to accommodate to that and fuck up yourself trying to change. A little bit into lifting so the only good thing you can really do is do a different exercise to help that muscle or you can do um, a little bit lighter weight short range of motion so if any of those things that you see throughout the work is because my left shoulder is bothering me with lifting upper body weights or just doing upper body so let's see how that goes but I'm gonna be taking this pre-workout let me show you guys hold on This is the one that I'm talking about. It's a big little serving. It's 60 servings. It's going to last me two months because your girl does not take 400 milligrams of caffeine. Um, so one scoop is 200, which I think all I need, especially All right, just trying to get my bottle. But especially um, since I'm not doing a leg day, even on a leg day, I think I only need 200 because I haven't taken caffeine in so long. The only caffeine I'm like taking through, um, taking here and there is coffee. And even that, sometimes I'm drinking it decaf. So about eight ounces of water from my Stanley but yeah so since I don't take that much that one scoop last time I swear you guys my whole body was itching on that shoulder day last time so I'm gonna take a good heaping scoop because I want to be up till 5 p.m. when I say that because um, when I say that I mean basically when I go back to work I don't want to be sleepy or tired so this pre-workout actually helps me if I take it in the morning. So I'm not mad about it. I'm only taking on like the big push-pull days. On an arm day, you're probably not going to see me. For my leg day, I might do a scoop and a half, but that's about it. So we're going to get this in and head in. I'm probably going to get a protein shake because I've only had breakfast earlier, like about two hours ago. So I don't want to like have a bad workout because I'm hungry. So I'm going to get a protein shake. I'm going to drink half of it and I'm going to save the other half for after workout. Shit. Um, I'm just making a mess. But let's see how this goes and I will see you inside. All right, y'all. So this is our third set here. I've added a five, a ten, and a plate. This feels really good today. That pre-workout has me itching all over my body, especially my face. My least favorite thing about pre-workouts. We're gonna end it with the last set with a plate and a 25 only. See how that goes. All right, last set. Plate and a 25. Let's see how this feels. Here's 
Let's move on to some rows, see how that feels. Fuck. So this is our last set here. Last set of rows. Then we're gonna move on to some pull downs, but this weight is killing me. I started with a plate, added a 10 on each side, and then added five for last set. And we're keeping the same weight because your girl could not complete eight reps at least. So it's gonna start with double. And then I'm gonna go right into some single pulls, pulls, or rows. Last side here. We're trying to go for as many as we can. Last set of exercise for rows. And we're done. Super setting with these. Straight on pull downs, or rope pull downs, whatever you want to call them. About 15 reps. Since we're super setting, we're only doing three sets of both. All right, y'all. So this is our last set of low rows. I did a super set with bicep curls. Um, so only one set of bicep curls because I'm running out of time. But I did about 10 reps with these, nice and controlled. Oh, fuck. Keeping the same weight, to be honest, for four sets. So this kills me. My lats get super sore. We are done with the workout. We're done with the workout. Really, I don't have to go to gym after work. I'm gonna go home. I mean, whew. So I have this post-workout glow going on. Um, I'm sweating my ass off, like I'm really sweating. And then, um, that workout made me sweat, by the way. Um, other than that, I have to go back to work. I had to put the scrubs back on. Not that I've seen any patients this morning. Sorry, guys. Um, not that I've seen any patients this morning, but um, come on, take that damn turn. My pet peeve is like waiting for this truck to pull in. Anyways, so the only thing I hate about working in between like work and stuff, um, I have to rush back. That rush, like the ad adrenaline, can't even say it right now. Um, to go back to work and be there just in case somebody needs you, it's just like pumping. But gladly, there's no traffic at noon. So, but we got done with our workout within like hour and 10 minutes. I started with 10 minute stairs. I'm gonna finish my cardio like 15 minutes, or oh, not 15, 20 minutes after work. And that'll be just like me jogging outside or either a treadmill um, on incline. So that's what I'll be doing after work, which is not bad because I have a treadmill at home. So I don't have to go back to the gym. So that's the plan, I'm gonna go to work. Also, I have this MRE milkshake that I told you guys I was gonna drink half, I drank half. I'm gonna drink the rest now. Um, and then I also have a meal at work 
I forgot my hot sauce for the meal. Ugh. But it's okay. I'm just gonna suck it up and eat it. But the meal prep, I changed it up a little instead of turkey or anything. I went to Sam's Club and I bought pulled chicken from there. It was in a box. Um, it did have a little bit of um, not just white meat, what's the other one called? Dark meat, whatever, um, of chicken. But I'm totally fine with it right now because to be honest with you, the, tra uh, the fat was like two grams. So if I do two servings, which is six ounces, it was gonna be 28 grams of protein. And like, I don't think, I didn't see any carbs, but it was gonna be four grams of fat, which I'm not mad about. It's chicken, come on, like, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna eat that and I baked some potatoes. So I bought these little mini potatoes and I cut it up in even small chunks. And that's what I'll be having for lunch and dinner. So with the wedgies, I went with my regular good old broccoli, frozen broccoli, um, cooked in a microwave. Keep it simple. I usually eat it with like a roasted garlic sauce or either, um, what is it called? Honey barbecue, whatever barbecue sauce, gold barbecue sauce from g hughes or whatever it's only 10 cows which is not bad i only take a little bit and mix it up and eat just for that taste is good but since i don't have that i usually use tabasco too tabasco with like the sriracha the sweet and spicy one which is only 10 cows as well um no 30 cows which is not bad so sometimes i eat it with that if i'm not craving any like super sweet sauce but other than that that's how i eat my meals and it's pretty easy to get down it's just a portion Lunchtime I eat a lot and dinner I eat like 150 grams. I mean, yeah, 150 grams and lunchtime I sometimes go up to 200 grams of protein. But it depends. Um, and then when I go home today, I want to, since I didn't eat it today, I want to eat my avocado slice. So I get a sourdough bread, put half avocado, one egg, and I eat two of those. So that's one of my meals as well. Um, that's a little extra carbs. That's why I reduce my carbs in my meals to like 75 grams of potatoes. Um, that's exciting. But I love me a good avocado sandwich and the best one I've made is from Aldi's sourdough bread. Get it from there. Get an avocado like the mini ones from there. I eat a whole avocado, two breads of sourdough um, and two eggs. That's it, like literally and put some sriracha on it and red pepper mm. so that's my go-to meal for nowadays like a cheap meal for me which is not really cheap meals healthy fats healthy carbs healthy protein so i am not mad about that and i'm still doing my um carbs uh, my pro um early morning oat milkshakes or oat shakes whatever and if you can tell your girl is like hyper on that pre right now like my workout was so top tier even though i had only like hour to do all the stuff that i wanted to do which I'm not mad about. I mean, I hit every single muscle in my back, so I am not mad. I do need to focus on doing a little bit lower back, so hyper extensions or something like that. I need to start doing those to strengthen my back. But I do Pilates, and it's a lot of lower back work and core work, so I know it's not that bad right now. But I do want to add it in the gym. Okay, anyways, a lot of talking. I will see you guys tomorrow with a banger leg day video. Also, before I let you go, Guess fucking what? The Sunday workout for legs had me limping around yesterday, today, and Monday. Like, what the hell? Those hex squats must be it. Or what else did I do that fucked me up? Or the Bulgarians. So my quads and my ass was so sore, you guys. I couldn't sit on the toilet for two days. Like, I had to, like, uh, squat down like an old lady. It was bad. And work was even bad. I was limping at work. My, my patients were like, Sylvia, are you okay? And I was like, <laughs> just a bad leg day. I mean, just a good leg day. Um, had me super sore, not even gonna lie. It was top tier workout. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, watch that video, top tier. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow for a leg day since they're not gonna be as sore. I did stairs for that reason. So yeah, have a good one. Get your workout in, get your cardio in. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.